Now, if you had an AI that was trained to be a good teacher, then you, you, that could improve the brain, right? You could, you could scale it up. Every child could have their own because it's, it's, an, it's an AI. But then who's pouring the morals, the values into the Okay, okay. AI, no, no, no. Right? You, you know, you've raised an incredibly important issue. And this is something AI is struggling with, the big companies are struggling with, because, uh, you know, the, 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 these AIs are biased. They, have the, they don't have the same cultural values that we have necessarily. But, of course, every country has its different cultural values. So w which ones are, are you going to use? Training a, a child on, you know, what's, uh, what's good, what's dangerous, what words you shouldn't use, under what context, that's all done through the basal ganglia, right? Right now, these, these uh, large animals don't have basal ganglia. They, they don't use reinforcement learning. And, and if we want to make them uh, to adopt a culture or a particular set of values, we're going to have to put it in. We're just scratching the surface here in terms of things that need to be put in to make it more like us. So when we think about social connections, it is conceivable that someone falls in love with Annie and forms a relationship with Annie. But imagine a 12-year-old boy that's lonely gets a hold of Annie. The 12 year old boy is gonna be very distracted. Based on what happens in the brain the at that dopamine. early age. So prefrontal cortex, not close to being fully developed. The dopamine hit, all of a sudden, he's spending hours with Annie and not doing the things that helped to really develop his brain. How do you feel when you hear that and you think about kids having access to that? I'm horrified. It's, it's scary. There's going to be a generation of people, and I mean, there already are many examples of people falling in love and forming relationships with their, with their AIs. And I don't know, you know more about me than I do about brain development and how the brain works. I would argue that there's a part of my brain that doesn't fully understand that that's not a person in there and that... That isn't actually, f I think there's a part of my brain that's actually emotionally firing when Annie is saying what she's saying. Well, because you can imagine it. And if you can imagine it, then those parts of your brain are going to emotionally fire. Right. Yeah. And the better she gets, she's not very good. But imagine a year from now, how much better she's going to be. At which part? At connecting with it. 